A wastewater system is like a living thing. It breathes, grows and moves. Although, it's not something you want to climb. When it was first built in 1857, it was just six kilometres long. But like a living thing, our wastewater system has grown and continues to grow with Sydney and its surrounds. Now, it's one of the world's largest wastewater systems, servicing nearly 5 million people with over 24,000 kilometres of pipes. It's so big that if you join the pipes end-to-end, -end, they would reach more than halfway around the world. Wherever it is, the system expands and contracts with temperature changes, bends with ground movement, and can even vibrate from large vehicles moving on top. And yes, it breathes, inhaling and exhaling through 12,000 vent shafts that work to keep the system clear of gases that can develop in the pipes. In confined spaces, these gases can damage the system, but when released into open air, there's no risk to people or the environment. In a perfect world, we could simply rely on gravity to move wastewater from your homes and businesses to our treatment plants. But that's not the case. Pumping stations help out where gravity works against us. Every day, nearly 700 pumps move about 1.4 billion litres of wastewater to our treatment plants. That's enough to fill 560 Olympic-sized swimming pools, but luckily, we've never tried to do that. Instead, we treat the wastewater at one of our 28 wastewater treatment or water recycling plants. Once treated, the wastewater can be either reused or released safely into the environment. So that's a little about this living thing we call the wastewater system. And like all living things, our actions can affect its health. But that's a whole other story.